Hi, everybody. Hello, it's Julie. Hello. Welcome to, uh, what is this? Monday Live. Oh, my gosh. And I knew I did it's that. Like <laughs> it's way better. I can't believe that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But that, so I can see I got to do it. I can't believe I, I'm all, I've got my, I've got my wire. I've got, I think I'm, I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So, um, welcome, 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 welcome. And, um, so exciting. We are here for part four of the beginner junk journal series. Today, I'm going to work with elements and what I consider to be an element is the items that we put in to hold things and um, so they're kind of still part of the base of the journal and we are working with two journals today I'm going to be working in the one with no digitals so again this is the one that you that we made using the digitals the free digitals that are in the scrap all about it with dear Julie Julie Facebook group and um, we would be adding the same type of elements to this as we're going to add to this. Um, again, this is how I do things. Now, not always. <laughs> A lot of the times I will make my pages, decorate my pages and everything before I put them together. And um, so you've seen that on some of the videos that I do. But for um, beginner... I think being able to manage the pages that you're putting into the journal for your first time binding it is really important. So I want to say hello and thank you to all of you that are here. I'm Julie. I post a new video every day. Um, usually it's about junk journaling. Sometimes it'll be a haul video or it could even be another craft. But I want to thank you all for being here and joining us in the Beginners junk journal series again this is part four we'll be making elements so um i would like you to go ahead and participate so um when i when i'm telling you elements what are you thinking might be an element um <laughs> what might <laughs> you're funny oh on the on the cover I didn't want to get up off the couch, you guys. That was like 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning. It was cold. <laughs> oh, thank you, Terry. Yes, I finally found the box and I was able to share. There's still one or two boxes missing. Um, and you guys, there's there's quite a stack of boxes out there in that she shed. So, um, but hopefully they don't have... A Oh, they don't have happy mail in them. I think I got all the happy mail out. So, um, so welcome and would love to know what you consider a, an element or what your favorite element to have in your journals might be. So hello everybody again, and I'm so glad you're all here. Wow. Wow. We're building fast. Okay, so this is the journal that we've, we made in, I believe it was part two. Um, we covered, this is a composition book that we cut to be the right size and we covered. Um, and so this is the journal that somebody might make if they don't have a printer and are not able to, um, to print. Okay, so thank you, Maria. So here we go. We are going to, I have my little box here. And I've got some fabric that I thought would be okay with this. I have the pieces of the gift bag. Um, some of them, I think there might be another piece or two. I have some packaging, some project life cards. I have these little um, calendar pieces, some note paper, a church envelope, a privacy envelope, dictionary, all kinds of stuff here, some some note papers. And then I also have a vintage pink file folder. Okay, so I have a lot of these and some of them have water damage, 
but this one doesn't so um, and it kind of matches so I was like okay we'll use that okay so we're gonna go ahead and see I see hidden paper clips dangles charms book band library envelopes um, Terry ginger crafts it says anything that isn't part of the book pages and tags, flips, altered paper clips, and um, so, oh, by the way, the water damage was done before it got to me. Um, it was done in an underground barrack thingy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, okay, so I'm going to go ahead, move my little box over here, and really quick, really quick, so I don't forget, I want to congratulate the over 70 people. <laughs> That's seven zero people that qualified for the February VIP um, celebration. And I want to show you what they're getting. I'm just going to show you. This is the mini journal kit. Okay, so... Um, it started out, I'll show you, it was just going to be um, this kind of stuff. I had started with that, and then I, I was disappointed. I thought it needed some color, so I added in some other color. Now, you see this really bright color? That is going to be a second pansy kit that will be available in the shop on the weekend. Um, probably Thursday, actually. And then this this kit will be available to everybody else in the shop on Thursday as well. Um, so this is the mini journal kit. And it's called Antique, Antique Pansies. And a mini journal kit is these are the pages that you're going to be able to fold and... Um, Oh, and then there somehow the large tags ended up in here. But this is the pansy kit. And so if you finished your February, February, <laughs> finish it junk journal for the challenge, you have been invited to the group. Inside the group has the um, special link to where we'll be having tomorrow's. Um, tomorrow's a uh, very special celebration and um, so anyway so this is the the digital kit that they this is part of it it is a 21 or 22 page digital kit that they received and I still had so many pages left that I'm able to do a second kit so there you go um, just a little look and I think it's pretty exciting. So uh, one of the things I do is I do a challenge each month here on my channel. I did it last year and I'm gonna do it this year. And um, for you'll get a set of things that you have to do to finish the challenge. And then when you finish, you get invited to the celebration. We call it the VIP. It's the virtual internet party celebration. <laughs> You're the VIPs, the ones that finished. And there is a digital kit in the group specifically made for them. And then I offer it um, for sale for everybody else. So we are going to go ahead and start with, we're going to do elements. Now what I consider elements, and this is just my own way of thinking when I'm going, okay, I'm going to do the elements. Elements to, are things that um, add to the page. Okay, so it's still part of the makeup of the page is the way that I look at it. So um, a, a, an element to me would be a belly band, a, um, a tuck, a pocket, a flip, a border um, of some type. Okay, so we are going to start with the very, very simple. I have this paper. This is from the bottom of the gift bag. And we are gonna go ahead and I really like the way that looks. We're gonna fold that over. 
And um, so now remember, anything that I do, you could do it and grunge it up um, with your... I'm like, how far over can I go? I can go all the way to that edge. Okay. Um, okay, so you can grunge it up. You can distress all of these things, make them look more vintage, more old. Um, sometimes I think I should have been called the lazy crafter because the really the reason that I don't do all that is it just takes more time. So... Um, <laughs> Kelly's walking the room looking for people that don't have their thumb up. <laughs> yes, Kelly, stay six feet away, Bonnie says. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Okay, so um, here we go. We're going to go ahead and this is a... Well, sometimes it, I will do this and this would flip down, but I'm actually going to make it a pocket here. Okay. Okay. So I'm just want to hold this and make sure that it, you know, stays. And I need to find a place big enough to put this. I'm going to put it here on the map. Give that girl a wrench and she becomes the thumb police. <laughs> okay, so um, one of the things that I like to do when I do the flip up, and you see, we are using this. We're going to get this great image here. And we are going to be using this to make a pocket. There's not very many pockets in this journal um, because I didn't use uh, scrapbook paper in here. And um, there's just not that many. So we're going to go ahead and put this down on our map page. And it's leaning over a little bit. So I'm going to grab some plastic. So I save, I don't save all my plastic, but I save a lot of the plastic. And I save it for things like this. I can put this under. I'm just balling, the, there was some glue that came down here. And if I roll it around and ball it up, then... Um, won't stay there so that's good oh okay what do we got going on here I moved okay so we are adding this flip here okay so this becomes a flip you you have places you can write What's this doing here? Hmm. Huh. It has a hidden place you can write there. That was not on purpose. But you can. And do take advantage of all of those all of those places. Um, okay, so we have this beautiful pocket that matches our cover and a place that we'll be able to put something. So way back here. I'm going to go ahead and just add in a Project Life card. It does need to be cut down. Where are my good scissors? So I see some of you have already finished the mini challenge and the challenge number four for the March challenge. Um, that was really a fun one, using up a six-inch paper pad to make journals. And so I hope you're enjoying that. And if you haven't gotten around to do it, um, that, you, that you do get to do that. Okay, so we also have a pocket here. And I'm just going to put something in there. We'll, we will um, decorate it later. Because, like I said, I consider this an element. And this, to me, is an embellishment. That's how I think. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm sure I'm not right. <laughs> But that's how I do it. So um, this is a flip up. And if this was, um, well, we'll just go ahead and add a second 
one here. Okay, I have this blue. Remember, we used blue in the center of this journal, so I, I really do want to add a little bit of blue a couple of places. Now you can see that we are going to have a little bit of a problem here. So I'm going to skip and go to an embellishment. And I'm going to do this early on because get it while well, people are still watching. <laughs> um, so an embellishment. Uh, Paperclip to me is an embellishment. It could be an element. Sometimes when I do the challenges, it's an element, but um, that doesn't matter. Anyway, I've got two, tick, two tags here. They are cut from, this is from a receipt. Or, yeah, receipt. And this is just um, a little bit thicker paper. It's not like cardstock, but it's thicker. And I'm going to go ahead and make a um, altered paper clip. So I've got my paper clip. I'm going to take the long edge and I'm going to, that's going to go on to the back. Okay, so that's going to go on to the back. And then I'm going to use um, fabric tack. This is my. Uh, other favorite glue and um, I like it because it dries fast. I used to always do these with uh, hot glue until I pretty much burned my finger pretty darn good and so I don't do that anymore. So you can do it with hot glue. Be very very careful. It really hurts if you touch the paper clip when it's still hot because they do get very hot. So I'm just, I've gone around the outside and I've gone around the paper clip and I'm just gonna add this on here, okay? Um, I like to use two things that are the same, same size when I can. And there I have a paper clip. Now the, the awesome thing about these flat paper clips is they hold stuff so, so good. So good. They are um, like amazing. So we are going to go ahead and I'm not going to decorate that right now, but we'll, we'll eventually decorate it. I'm going to go ahead and use it now to help keep this um, pocket closed. Okay. So there we have that cute little I guess it could be an element. <laughs> Today it's an element because we're in the element video. Okay, so I have a blue um, note paper. And so our next thing I'm gonna make is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do what I call a flip up, flip down. And um, so, so I have my note paper. I'm gonna turn it over, okay? So I have it this way, I'm gonna turn it this way, and then when I flip up this side, it's gonna be in the right orientation. And when I flip down this side, it's gonna be in the right orientation, okay? So flip up, flip down. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, attach this to a page. So this is a flip up, flip down. The other one was a flip pocket and it was a flip pocket with a little pocket inside. <laughs> so this is gonna be a flip up, flip down. I do turn almost everything into a pocket. Um, even if, I, if I'm not going to put, um, if I'm not gonna put something in it, it has the you know possibility that someday if I want to put something in there I can. Okay, so flip up, flip down, and we'll grab a tag. Okay, grab a tag and put that in there. Okay. So there's our flip up, flip down. Okay, so another thing, um, let's see. Go. Dun, dun, dun. 
Okay, while we're on pockets, we have our beautiful poppy here and we have our um, calendar here. So one of the things, and I do want a large pocket in here because I have a really cool thing that I want to put in it. <laughs> I need a pocket because I want to be able to put the cool thing in it. Okay, so I have my butterfly paper here that matches this lined paper. And I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll fold this. Okay, and um, let's see. So you can either go ahead and cut this off or you can leave it, whatever you want to do. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to um, put this down on this side. So I like to hold where I'm not going to glue. And here we go. We'll just go ahead and add some glue. So I'm making a large pocket. Now, um, calendar pages are great for being able to write in, just like you would write um, in on an actual calendar. You can write in the little, the little holes, write, you know, a little quote or something in there, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and Okay. So there we go. And now we have this pocket here. And depending on which side you want to, you can go ahead and add a little hole. And what that does, it makes it easier to put whatever you're going to put in the pocket in and out. It also, if whatever you put in is flush in there, then, um, you know, then you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to be putting, where did I put it? I'm going to be putting this. Okay, so I'm going to cut it at about here. Actually, if I use my cutter. Wow, that's, that is a lot of first timers. That's awesome. Welcome everybody. And I mean, there's, there's so many people that teach this. I just, I just teach what I, how I do it. And, um, so, and there's, you know, you can learn from everybody. Okay. I'm not going to leave it in here, but this is something I can either go ahead and cut it down and fit it in flesh. We're going to let it dry before we put it in there. And we might, I might keep this one for myself because it's F, but we'll see. So anyway, you can leave this on or take it off. This journal could actually use some more pages. So I may go ahead and use that flap to add another page. But here we have a pocket and we've added another place to write. Okay, so that is adding a pocket. Um, Let's see here. <laughs> You're, okay, so remember when we were putting this together and I realized that I, I made my flap and it would cover the, the um, butterfly? So this is another place that I would go ahead and add a paper. And I'm going to go ahead and add another one of these just because I think they're really pretty. And I have a lot of them. 
And this time I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut it down a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, which, which cutter, which cutter? Okay. So, okay. Um, now, I'm going to cut it a little bit down here too. I I just think that that's too much to be flapping around. Okay. Okay, and remember I'm I'm cutting things off and putting them to the side. Okay. So we have butterfly, butterfly, that's okay. But this was from the envelope that we dissected and re and put back together. And we're gonna turn this into what I call a double tuck. And um, it's like my favorite thing. Uh, Dollar General has steno pads. They are white with, they kind of have a little bit of a lavender tinge to the white. <clears throat> and the green ones, I'm thinking I got maybe Target or my $1.49 store. Okay, so now I've got, I went down on the inside of the flap of the envelope and across. And now we're going to go ahead and set this down and across. Okay. And what that does, it's that gives us two tucks. That's why I call it a double tuck. And it's like my favorite thing to add to a journal is a double tuck. So, um, and then you can just add Oh, Dollar Tree. Oh, that would be cool. I haven't seen them at Dollar Tree. That well, I can't say that I haven't ever seen them. I I haven't seen them. I don't remember. Okay, so you can go ahead and add your little note papers in there or you can add your And see these have journaling on the other side. So they are awesome for for this. Okay, so that's adding them to a double text. So what we did, we added a paper to our journal on the flap that was in the journal that was actually an accident because I didn't plan <laughs> for my coloring page to be there. And, and well, obviously I did plan it, but I didn't plan it very good. So, and of course, if it fits, you can even have it so that it hangs down off the side if you wanted. So I'm going to take those out because they're still drying and I don't want them to dry inside of that. But that is a double tuck. So another thing that you might want to add is... Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, we have this. So a belly band. Okay, now this, this we could go with that side or with that side. I like the color of that side, but I really like this side better. So I'm gonna go with this side. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see this, but this is from the, in, the side of the bag, the side and the top. I'm just going to cut the, the fold over here off. Well, I was going to. We'll cut it like that. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put this down. Now, you can put your um, belly band in this direction. You can have it go up and down and put something in from the side. 
I've done double belly bands um, from the side in some of my journals. So this is just a belly band. Um, I usually will put it on a page that uh, has is busy, is not a place that I can actually uh, write on. And then you can go ahead and just add a note paper in there. Okay, again, we're not gonna leave it in there because it will, we don't want anything stuck. Okay, so here we go, let's see. This, again, adding plastic so I don't stick to something. Okay, so that's a belly band. And let's see, is everybody following along okay out there? Um, another thing that I like to add is, oh, we have some glue there. Let's see. So this is a place that you can go ahead and just tuck this down and it would be a tuck, okay? So we can go ahead and just glue this down. It's the other side of our privacy envelope. Glue that down. And then you're gonna be able to tuck something inside, inside there. Or you could have added another paper there. Okay, so another, <laughs> telling you I got a lot of plastic up here. <laughs> and I've been using that ant antiquarian uh, sticker book to hold my things down. It's working really well. Okay, so here we have, I told you when we were making this that I would probably put something here. Um, so I have this, this is also from the inside side of the, the, um, the uh, gift bag. So we took apart a gift bag. We used part of it to cover the journal and then now we have all the pieces that were left that we can use throughout. And Okay. Hi, Doreen. Welcome. So we're going to go down the edges, cross, and this becomes a border tuck. Now, another thing that you can do here is I could have folded this over. Okay. I could have folded this over and made a border tuck, but I want the I don't want to lose the space. Okay, so I am making a bit of a mess here. Sometimes when I make a mess, that's when I have to decide which washi I am going to be using because it's going to be easier to cover my mess with washi. Then to... Um, Try and get all that glue up. So I'm just gonna <laughs> use my favorite. This is my very favorite washi, you guys. It's from Michaels in that 33 cent bin. I don't know if they still have them. Well, doesn't really matter. Our, our Michaels are all closed now here. So there we go. There we go. I like it. Okay, so then again, we have another place to tuck things in. So this is a border tuck. Okay. 
This is a pocket. <laughs> this is a pocket. Right here. Hi, Joyce. Welcome, everybody. Joyce is the gatekeeper. If you are brand new to Dear Julie Julie and you are planning to join our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group, Joyce is the one gonna, that's going to let you in. You need to make sure you answer the questions or she's not going to let you in. Okay? She's our gatekeeper. She's been instructed for everybody's safety um, to only let people that answer the questions into our group. And um, that's just because we had a, a bunch of, um, like, I call them robots. So we had a bunch of people that had just set up their, um, their pages like that day. And so we started that. So any Dear Julie Julie group that you are going to join is going to ask questions probably. Um, and please make sure you answer them. Okay, so I'm looking for, so here's our envelope, and it has decoration on it, so it might be a good place for my newest <laughs> leaning tower tuck, or leaning ticket tuck, leaning ticket tuck, so taking, and this was, Tammy asked me a, a, a few videos ago what I could do with a strip of tickets, and I told her you could do a belly band. And then I showed her. I said, well, you could do this. You could put, because I've done this. I mean, I've done this before. Now you put your glue on the two edges that are the same size, same side. And then you go ahead and place them on here. Let's grab this. Glue, glue. Okay. Bye, Kathy. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I hope you brought. Uh, hope you brought cupcakes to share with everybody. <laughs> Okay, so then again, you're going to be able to add something in there. Okay, so that is, I'm calling it the leaning ticket tuck. Leaning ticket tuck. Boy, we're going through, we're going through my list pretty fast here, you guys. <laughs> we're going through my list pretty fast. Okay. Um, Let's see. Okay, so you, so this is our front. Open it. Got this. Okay. So this is a pocket, <laughs> border tuck, pocket, this is the center of our signature, belly band, okay, oh, okay, so there we have a page, it's beautiful with the music, um, let's see, where is our other, okay, so that one's there. So another thing I like to do is I really do like to use up everything that's hanging around. And so um, usually packaging is one of the things that's hanging around. I'm going to go ahead and this time I'm going to leave this with the fold. And I'm going to cut at the top. Okay. I'm going to cut it at the top. Now, to put plastic into a journal, I like to use uh, double-sided tape. So, I'm going to use my, this is an advanced tape glider by Scotch. I love this tool. And I, it's, you just 
roll your tape on. It's double-sided tape. Now you could use any kind of double-sided tape. And it's I've just discovered for putting plastic or something sticky, something shiny, um, slippery into the journal, this has been my favorite um, favorite thing to add. So then I'm going to go ahead and let's see, put it down, down here. Now the thing about a clear pa plastic pocket is that you have, um, you have a chance to bring in some color onto your page through that clear pocket. And again, I really like the way that this looks. So, um, but look at here, this could actually be like a little mini journal. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here, but we are going to turn this into a mini journal either later today or in the embellishment video. Um, you might have seen that I did post that tomorrow's beginner journal class part five is at 1035. So part five at 1035. And that's because I'll be working with the Fe February finishers at 335 um, for their special celebration. And the other thing is, is I've had people from around the world ask if there was any way that I could do an earlier one. So I took advantage of the fact that um, I would already be busy at 335. So I'll be here at, I'll be here two, two times tomorrow for some of you. <laughs> okay, so there you go. And this is a, I just call it packaging pocket. Okay, and there you go. And we take advantage of the fact that it's clear. And, um, oh, try this on uh, parchment paper. I don't, I'm not sure if it'll work. I don't use a lot of parchment paper, but I would, I would think it would work. Okay, so there's that. So, okay, looking up at my list. Um, let's see. Wow, we're going through this list very quickly, you guys. <laughs> okay. Plastic. Okay, looks like this is where my flip is. So we are going to do um, a, a, what I call a flip flop. See, we have butterfly paper right there. Did we do a map? Okay, just checking. See if we have any... I'll just leave that there. Okay. Okay. So that is our one flip. And so I have a couple of different papers. I think what we'll use is the steno paper. And so we're just going to measure it. And the steno paper, if we cut it right below the um, perforated edge, it's going to fit on this page just fine. Okay, so I'm going to do what I call a flip flop and I am going to go ahead and fold this in half. If you watched this weekend's videos, you've already seen a lot of these. I put all these in most of my journals. Kind of like, oh yeah, it needs a, and it needs a. So we did have some of the green steno paper 
in here somewhere else. So this will be, be good. And it matches the, the bag. Bonnie, you don't get to sit in the corner. <laughs> what did you do? What did Bonnie do? <laughs> Okay, well, I feel pretty good. You guys, we're doing really good here. We'll have gone through my list. I would Now I'm going to wish I had gotten the stuff for the tassels and the charms. But I was like, oh, no, we'll do tassels and charms and paper clips tomorrow. I thought this would take longer. Okay. So you see this and we get that pretty edge there. But what this does is this gives us some more writing space. So if you are someone that tends to like to decorate, um, this gives you some more area to add um, writing area. So we're gonna do a double flip flop. And so what that is, is we've folded it in half, then we folded it again and gave it about between a quarter and a half inch gutter see that now we're going to put our glue on we're going to fold it back the way it was fold it back and we are going to put glue on our glue on our gutter glue on our gutter flip it over and set it in that gutter right there. <laughs> Don't drop it because that just like messes things up. Don't do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Okay. And then fold it over and close it. That's the best way. Okay. And then you'll be able to write there or draw and you'll be able to write here. And you'll be able to write here and here and here. So it's pretty, pretty awesome that you can add all that in there. Oh no, don't worry. <laughs> I'm still going to be here till, till I hear the husband's, de his, uh, his bell. I will be here. I'll just, uh, we'll just get, we can, you know what? We can go and do the same thing in the other journal. I just don't have the papers out for it. I, I actually did prepare for this. I know you guys are as surprised as I am. So um, let's see. Well, we can use that as a tag. We still have this pretty one. Might work there. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm being quiet. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay, we can take some plastic out. Okay, well, okay, we're going to go ahead and put this here. I'm going to use my fingernail, you know, the really fancy measuring, fancy way of measuring. And check it, there it is. And we'll go ahead and check it again. <laughs> check it, 
check it many, many times before you cut. Okay, so I have this. I'm gonna do what's called a top tuck right here. Okay, and um, so just like we've done these, the border tuck, and I'm gonna put, yeah, I want my green away from this green, um, just so that it, it, it will help with our, it will help with our eyes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, yeah. Okay, so my hand is here, I'm not gonna put glue on this side. That's just something I do for my old brain. My old brain. Okay. And there we go. Put it right down there. Oh, very good, Tara. We um, we did make one one paper clip today, so far, and that was because I needed it to hold what what I had made wouldn't stay closed. So we've made one, and we will be making more. Okay, so a top tuck is awesome. If you have made a beautiful tag, or somebody has gifted you one, and the beautifulness the decoration is on the bottom, then a top tuck is a great way to be able to show that off, okay? So being able to um, show that off and you can just put things, put things in it like that, okay? So that's a top tuck. Again, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm not gonna put anything in it right now. And um, so this is just, I should have said raw elements because I'm not decorating them or embellishing them. I'm just putting the raw element in there. Another way of doing this is to have your elements all made, all embellished, and then you go put them in. This is just how I'm doing it this time, okay? So that is a top tuck. Another way that I like to do, um, I, we don't have, let me see if I have, I'm, I'm looking for something that I can use here that's, that will match. Okay, none of, none of that matches. Okay. Oh, you know what? We need that. We need that. Okay, so another thing that I like to do in my journals when I'm making them is I do a thing called a stack of note. You see this has a little bit of water damage, but it's still good. It doesn't smell. <laughs> is I do a thing called a stack of note. Oop, we'll put this back in the box because there's only like one or two of them left. So we are going to stack them like this. Now you can go ahead and stack and use um, a stapler and that's that works out really well. You see, we have um, lines on the bottom of this so I'm not gonna lose anything by covering this with this note paper. Plus I'll still have the beautiful um, black border that I chose this journal paper for. Okay, so you just go ahead and add glue to the top of, I usually do three or four. Sometimes I do just little little note papers. Sometimes I do big note papers. I think this is the biggest note paper I've ever done. Very good one, Vonda, thank you. Yes.
Yes, we will. Okay, so this is stack a note. And again, you see, uh, I'm just adding to the base here. And we have one more left. Yes, Joyce is reminding you if you're asking to join the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. And right now that's where you pick up your digital, your free digital that you get for joining in on this series. It is my um, gift to you, my safer at home gift to you. So um, please, even if you aren't able to print right now, go ahead and download it so you have it. And so that is a stack of note. Now we can come in and decorate and do stuff to the top and add stuff. But again, I'm just doing the um, basic, um, putting these in right now. Okay, and just wanting to show you the different things that you can add. So another thing that you can do is using your die cuts. Now remember this was from the bag. And we can use this it's not going to do I, I was thinking that we could put it here it's not going to cover that up enough so we'll find the other one we had another card that it might work on or it might work as a belly band like the ticket okay it could even be a, a tuck that hangs off the side here and something could go in there. Okay, so here's our tender thoughts one. Okay, I like it has the hole there on the outside. Okay, first of all, this is going to drive me crazy. I have I have some little quirks and one of them is I don't like the random I don't like the random words. I like when it's when my my things are done that it, um, you know, it looks like it looks put together like a book. You don't have to be, and even that's cute, where it says just tender thoughts. Now that I've taken that out of there, but this could also be a belly band here. Okay, and then we could um, have a string or something come off the side there. I have two of these. So let's go ahead and we'll put one here. Is anybody, is, is this working out okay? <laughs> Are we learning anything? Are we realizing that we could be teaching this? <laughs> Journals can be, oh yes, always. All of my challenges, unless it says specifically to use a specific size of something, yes, you, your journal can be any um, size, any theme, any type of journal um, for the challenges that we're doing right now and for the April challenge just so so that you know so if you're if you're wanting to start collecting stuff um, we are doing I will tell you that the April challenge is another no buy challenge so we will not be buying anything for April okay and um, okay so there we have this using our little Then we can, you know, it, it'll be a little pocket, I mean, a, a belly band that we can add something in there. Okay. 
There we go. And then I'm going to go to the front. And I think we're okay with this paper. And we'll grab the other butterfly. I wanted to put it somewhere where we could hang it off the edge a little. Like there. Okay, so I'm going to attach it here and here. And actually, I'm going to attach it. This is shiny paper. Sometimes magazine paper is hard to... Um... Yes, we, we had a little meeting, me and my, the mouse in my pocket. And we have decided that um, we're going to do no buy ba at least through July. No buy through July. Now, that just means you don't buy anything for that challenge that month. If you're, you know, if a paper pad comes out and it jumps out at you, you have to have it. Doesn't mean you can't use it next month, okay? Um, but we are encouraging the no buy. And, um, you know, it's... It, it's a good thing because I have way too much stuff. Um, so at my house, it's, it's a good thing to do it that way. So there we have that little guy. And, you know, Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so you can also use your, your little glue to do that. I like that. Okay. And there, yay. Look at, we used something. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Vonda. You, you guys, I, um, I want people to be able to participate. And so um, we will be doing, like, I, I need to plan it out. You guys know this is a really hard week for me. And so I'm trying to plan things so that I, I, don't, um, I don't, don't do you wrong. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so my dad's birthday was Sunday, his first birthday in heaven. My mom passed away a year ago tomorrow, and my sister's birthday, she would have been 20, uh, oh no, she's been gone 28 years, but her birthday is Thursday. So um, anyway, I'm just trying to make sure I have all the bases covered. And um, this keeps me sane but you might have to tell me what day it is because I keep forgetting what day it is I just I I'm gonna put this on here right now because it was kind of running into that so I do, yeah oh my gosh hi Sherry hi cat that <laughs> Took it off the bananas. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, so if you like to color, you might leave your coloring pages just plain. Um, let's see, I have some fabric. So I am going to attach a fabric flip. Now, the one thing I really try to have my fabric flips be on the right side. Um, it's just part of how I do things again. And um, I do like for them to be on something a little bit substantial. And there's a lot, there's not a lot of substantial pages in here, but that would be pretty good right there. That would work. This actually would work because of the, that on the other side. Let's see, let's go back to the front. Back to the front, back. That sounds funny, back to the front. Okay, so there's our, our opening, opening page. Okay, let's go, let's go over here. Okay, we're gonna flip, we're gonna flip this we're going to flip this one. 
Okay, so I have this fabric and I had it left over from doing the um, Paris journals. And it was sitting here on the counter and I was like, you know what? Oh, I think we'll use that. Okay. Um, it's not as bright as the journal is, but I think it's still a good thing. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and it, it's junk journal, so it's okay that it's not totally straight. But I do want to tell you, if you have something that has lines on it and you're trying to cut, a lot of times many brains will go along with the cut and you'll find yourself not cutting real straight. So do line up your lines. Be nice to your brain. It works. It'll work much better. I don't know if you've noticed like when you're writing and you you go ahead and even if you're like writing on this Okay, and your paper's this way, and you, you go to write like this, and you might find yourself with the curl in your writing. It's because your brain is compensating for those lines, because, you know, we taught it that it should stay in the lines many years ago. We said, brain, stay in the lines. So Terry, you have a pile of stuff, not knowing how you're gonna gonna put it down. Okay, so there's several you can attach. You know, if you have a thing about folded edges, you can attach your flip like that. Um, I'm gonna actually cut mine down a little bit more, and we save these little strips because you know we might be able to use them like on a butterfly. Or something and I'm going to use my fabric tack <laughs> the rubber transfer oh my gosh isn't that something when our when our husbands and our kids and well you see, you see some of my hauls are called people give me stuff and they go, oh, well, Julie could use this. And like I tell you in the people give me stuff, once you tell people what you're looking for and they start giving you stuff, you can't tell them no, okay? Because they will stop, they will stop saving stuff for you. So you just take it in and you dispose of it however you have to, whether it's give it, give it to somebody that really can use it or, um, you know, throw it away. Um, you, you do that, but okay. So here's our fabric flip and we do have a place to write under it. It's kind of pretty. We will come back and decorate this when we're embellishing. But this is a fabric flip, okay? Now I'm gonna to go to the front, to the other side, and I'm gonna use some of that fabric. So if you're like me and you have a, you know, huge fabric stash, We're going to do other ways of using fabric in your journal as well, but you can also add a fabric pocket. Now, a fabric pocket sometimes won't hold things as well. You might not, you might need to, <laughs> you might need to cut it straight. I'm just going to, it kind of looks like a coffee filter. <laughs> made it look old-fashioned for you. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. The 
wood blind, the wood things on your blinds for tassel. That's cool. Holy mackerel, he's home early. Don't worry, we're not done yet. <laughs> There's no traffic out there, so where it usually takes him a long time to get home. It's like he's driving at the middle of the night now. You heard it? Yep, that's our, we have a, um, a thing for our garage door. We accident, we bought this thing thinking that we were buying another, a new garage door opener thing and it ends up, it's like an alarm for our garage door opener. It's the coolest thing. It was totally an accident, it is not what we thought we were getting. Oh my gosh, it is so awesome. It tells us it's got a light and it dings the whole time. It'll ding like that, it'll do that little buzz or beep and tell us that it's open. So if you have some guest checks, you can add those, but there you go. Um, so you wanna use fabric pack on your fabric or hot glue um, you can use this. It's very wet and it takes a long time to dry. So I'm not going to use that in a, in a journal like this. Look at, so you see we've got, um, we've added some fun things to our journal here already in just a little over an hour. Um, we, we've still got a couple things to add and um, let's see. Got to, I got to find the right page. Again, this is the next thing I want to do. I want to do it on a right hand side page. Um, okay, we'll do it here. Yeah, that's going to be our best. We're going to do it on this. And um, so this is our privacy envelope that I turned inside out. I am gonna go ahead and close it off on this side with washi tape. Okay, so you're gonna wanna have picked out washi tape. If you don't have washi tape, you can, um, you can make your own with, uh, you know, or just use strips of, um, strips of things. Oh, those are my fabric scissors. I'm going to have to send myself to the corner. Shame on me. I'm going to cry. I use my fabric scissors. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've had those. I think that's the longest I've ever had fabric scissors. <laughs> okay, so now we'll have a pocket here. I've closed this off and um, so we'll have that and I can add another washi once I pick my secondary washi for this. Um, so what we're going to do next is we are going to make a waterfall. Okay, so I'm going to look for some, any, you can use any of your papers that you've been using. So let's see what I have. I have, I have this that we can use. I have this. I have this. I have that. I have that. I have a lot. And look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I think we'll use that. We are going to use this in this journal because it has some of the color. It has the blue and this. So it gives us both colors to help um, connect the dots. So let's 
So, okay. So, um, I'm looking to see how big, and I'm not going to use my file folder on that. Um, on the last video, did you all see the template for the, not the last video, but the, um, Because the last video didn't have the template. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this size as my my waterfall fall size. Now, um, I guess I should measure it to the the envelope, huh? Yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use that note, the note paper size as my waterfall size. So I'm going to cut my papers. To be approximately that size. Okay. And I guess I could have measured it like a real person, like measuring. It is one dot before, <laughs> it's one dot before, before that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, how would you measure it? Would you like, oh, that's out of, out of whack. That is not even, this side's even. Okay. I don't think we need the dictionary paper. Okay. So um, this side has more butterflies. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and put it upside down and there we go. And I know where that's going too. Haha. <laughs> okay. So waterfall. Now, one of the things you can do is you can just line up your papers like we did the stack a note. Okay. You can just stack a bunch of papers and line them up like that on a true waterfall that I'm going to do this kind of waterfall. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fold our, um, Well, we're not going to fold that one because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose that. That's a, a, an image that I want in my, in my journal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And I'm going to go ahead and cheat and fold it over like that. Okay, well, we'll see you at the celebration. Okay, um, I wanted this to be the cover and it is going to hang off. Okay, so let's see. Well, we're just, we're just going to do this like this. Go ahead and put it on here. Okay, we're going to put this underneath here and let some butterflies be flying up. And this will curl under and we'll have that little spot to write. And it will hide underneath here. Um, okay, so this is a little bit different than, I'll show you a real one after this, okay? I just don't want to lose those pretty images. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and glue everybody to each other. Oh, that's funny. You thought you were going, huh? Okay. You could even attach this. How did I get so crooked? Was I, was my paper, <laughs> was my paper underneath me crooked? <laughs> Made me crooked? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll fix it. We'll fix the crooked. There we go, fix the crooked. Okay, so that can go on here. And I mean, can you see the possibilities of being able to use up pretty papers, adding them in, not being afraid that they um, come out the side like this one here. And so what, what we have is we have a waterfall of papers. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do a true waterfall. Okay, that one I was just trying to keep pretty. So this one, we'll go ahead and we'll pretend that these folds are not here. Okay. So we'll cut these other two so that they I haven't been to the post office, you guys. Um, I haven't been since since the last time I was there. Um, I don't even know if our post office is open right now. She we have a contract post office. So I'll, I'll look it up and I think I might have to go, well, I have to mail some stuff. So, um, so I'll be going to the post office probably tomorrow. Okay, so here I'm just um, cutting my pages so that they're the same this time. I'm doing it a little bit different than last time. And I've straightened out all my pages. I'm going to pretend like those folds are not there. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay. So those are my three papers that I'm going to use. Put these pages. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, this is... So you're, they're probably going to all be, want them all to be the same, the same length-ish. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, cut them all the same length first. First, to, first off, let's cut them all the same length. We'll do four of them, even though this one's a little bit smaller. Okay. 
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this one in the middle of that. And actually I, there we go. Okay. So I have four and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one up. Pull this one, pull these two up, pull this one up like this. Then we can take this, fold it over, and I can go ahead and I'm, I'm okay with putting that one on top of itself. I mean, it's two alike on top of each other. and fold it over okay so now we have a waterfall we have these two are together this one this is upside down but we can cover that with something and there's that there now to attach it we're going to go ahead and we're going to start in the center and we're going to flip this up just like we did with the flip-flop there's going to be a little gutter here. We're going to grab our glue, put it across, lay it down. There's our first one. That is not straight on there, is it? Okay, so we have that happening. Okay, so this is our next one. We're going to do the same thing again. Flip it up. You can come up with your own way of of how you're folding this to get it on here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and add that. Fold this over so that we find out where, where our crease is that it needs to go in. There we go. And you should fold this one too. Boy, it's time to pull out a new glue. I might actually have to buy glue, you guys. Even though we found all that glue the other day when I thought I didn't have any glue at all. Okay, so there. There is our little waterfall. And we can attach this into our journal somewhere. Or we can put it, make it into a little booklet. You know, put it, put it in a, like the file folder or, or one of these things. And it can, you know, it can be in a book. I do, uh, this is another one that I like to be on the right hand side. If it was in a booklet, it could go like inside the belly band. It's the right size. Or in a pocket. But it also could go right here. I'm going to paper clip it here because I want to do something to the background of this page. Look at this cool paper clip. And, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and paper clip it here. And uh, yeah, because I'm going to want to decorate that and then put it on there, I think. Okay, so using up what I have on my table a little bit, I have this scrap. That might be kind of cool right there. But what I was thinking is maybe here. Or 
here. I think I think I like the idea of here. Of course, what if we go ahead and if we use washi tape, it can still open. And have a place to write. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to, what do they call a tip in or something like that. We're going to add this here using washi tape. Okay, we're going to go down to just before the bottom of it. and cut our washi tape across or rip it. We're making like a, a hinge. Okay, so then you pull this over and you do the same thing. So we don't lose this um, great ledger paper here, but we still have the color from that. Okay, so we've got that going on. Okay, um, so another thing that we didn't add yet. You're like, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the right edge. Okay, here we go. So, um, is this little tuck spot. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fold this, this is kind of a square. Okay, so here I can go ahead and add it on here. So I'm gonna go and I've got my hand here so I don't accidentally glue there. Okay. What do they call these things? Flip tuck, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. I've been collecting for um, over 30 years. And on top of that, I did also inherit my mom's stash, which has had cool stuff too. So, okay, so there's that. I always tell my husband, I don't drink or smoke, so I buy craft supplies. And I told my ex-husband the same thing. <laughs> when we moved across to, when we moved to Iowa many, many years ago, and I had a U-Haul trailer full of craft stuff, he's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, nope, we're taking it with me. Okay. So the really cool thing about this is you can lift this up and you can write in here. Okay. There we go. So there's that. Okay, let me look at my list. Altered paper clip. We did that. Okay, so here's our altered paper clip. Our belly band, we did a belly band. It's in here somewhere. Well, here's one. <laughs> did I glue it down? No. Okay. 
So there's a belly band. Woohoo! And there was another one in here too, right? Yeah, this one. We have that belly band. We'll be putting more in there. Uh, fabric flip. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Flip up. We did a flip up here. There's our altered paper clip. There's our flip up. And it actually has one of those little magic flips in it. Just happened to be there. And we added a pocket. So we have a flip up with an inside pocket and an outside pocket. And we're holding it with our altered paper clip because it is a little, um, it's a little fluffy. Okay. So that's our flip up. And then here we had a flip up, flip down. Okay. So there it gives you a place to write and we made it into a pocket. Let's see. Then we had our flip flop. So you pull this over and we have our flip flop. Then in the front, we had our fabric pocket. And back here we have our fabric flip. We had pockets all over the place. So um, all those different pockets. There's a pocket. There's pockets all over the place in here. Let's see. This is a tuck. So we have a tuck here. Then we just did the other this tuck. Okay. We have a top tuck across from the map. There we go. Top tuck. So we'll be able to put something in there. Sure we will. There we go. Top tuck. Border tuck. There it is, border tech. Add page and then the double tech. Here we go. We added this page and then we had a double tech. These are these may change where things got put, that may change. Okay. Um Leaning ticket tuck, leaning ticket tuck. There we go, leaning ticket tuck, leaning ticket tuck. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. There we go. Um, Package pocket. There it is. Package pocket. Then we have waterfall. So we have this waterfall that we're going to do something to. And we have this waterfall where we used a little bit of a variety of all the different um, papers. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we've, what we've got this way. So we have a pocket and a pocket and a little tech spot Tuesday and a fabric pocket. Oh, we made a tuck here. Oh, see. Shiny paper, shiny paper, didn't work. I'll go here. Yeah, 
and here. Okay, so when you're having trouble, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, Kelly. I, of course you can. Of course you can, Carrie. You can do it in one day. Okay, there's a little pocket here. There's a little tuck there. Here's a pocket, there's a pocket. We have, oh, stack a note. Stack a note. Leaning ticket. Pocket. Border tuck, or yeah, border tuck, or side border tuck. Um, pocket, center and signature, pocket, belly band. Packaging pocket, pocket, double tuck, tip in, flip flop, waterfall, writing tuck, I don't know what to call that, belly band, fabric flip, waterfall, I like this. I, I really like the way that turned out. Thank you, Vonda, for reminding me. And the flip up pocket with the altered paper clip. Flip up, flip down with a pocket and a tag. Pocket and back pocket. So that is what we have so far. Um, I hope, did anybody learn anything? I hope that it gave you some ideas. These are the things that I like to add. Um, and then the next thing we'll do is add some embellishments. And the embellishments to me is taking what I have and making it more, more pretty, more, more better, more better. So I still have a lot of places to, to write and um, that makes me very happy. So lots of places to write in this journal and yet still telling us to me, I like it to tell a story. It's kind of telling a story. It's pretty and we got all this color and I need some more of those to bring some blue throughout the journal a little more. But there you go. So this is our journal that we're making that does not have any, um, digital pieces in it. This, um, uh, we have two waterfalls. Let's see, this is our regular waterfall, just out of regular papers. And then we have this one. So it's beautiful note papers on top of our inside out privacy envelope. So there you go. Yeah. If, do remember if you want me to see something, then um, go ahead and put it in capitals. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. So thank you so much. And um, we will be here working in, working on the beginner series at 1035. And those of you that finished your February challenge journal and have been invited. I will be, you know, up to about five minutes before we start. I'll let the last people in. After that, uh, you'll, you'll have to wait. So make sure that you are, um, have asked to be invited before like three o'clock so that, that I can let you in. And, um, again, we had, like 70 people qualify for 70, seven zero qualify. And they are going to be receiving in the, in, where did it go? Uh, well, this is a little bit of it. This is the digital kit that, this is the mini journal kit right here except for I grabbed the large tags instead of the ephemera part of the mini journal kit. 
So what do you guys think? Do we want to make, um, do we want to make embellishments in the celebration? Do you want to make embellishments? Do you want to make a mini journal? Um, and so, and those of you that did not, uh, a large journal. Okay. So we only have two hours. So, um, Okay, so we have a large journal, we have embellies. <laughs> there you go, Cal. I, I totally agree. So embellishments. Yeah, we haven't done an embellishment one in a in a while. So um yeah, so we'll do we'll do embellishments. So I will put a list of what you want to make sure that you've printed out to follow along and yeah I think the winners are embellishments this time and um, so I do know go ahead and print out both large tags and um, go ahead and print out the mini journal kit on cardstock so print that out on cardstock. So I will tell you which numbers and um, which files so that, that you guys can, you want the middle pansy on the cover. Isn't that gorgeous? You guys, I, la I added that at the, originally this was going to be the kit. It was all from this, this setup that I had done. And then I was like, oh, it needs more color. And I love this. Oh my gosh, and you should see this, see this is, this was all for another digital kit, all, all this. So that digital kit, you'll get to see that in the next couple of days. Look at this, look at the collage page. It's so gorgeous. And so there's, there's more pieces. And um, so there's going to be the antique pansies. That's what the, the. The celebration, um, everyone that finished is getting the antique pansies. And then there is the pansy postcard paper and ephemera kit. And it is all of the bright colors. It is amazing. So both of them are beautiful. And um, I know some people had asked that we do, that I have something that was a little more, um, oh, old-fashioned vintage looking and so I was like okay we'll go to the pansies and um, I'm really excited about this because this pansy one I think is going to work really well with the the fairy kit that will be coming out very soon too so there you go find something to celebrate every day I'll see you all at 10 35 tomorrow in the morning pacific um pacific time and that is going to be the continuation of the beginner class. And then at um, 3.35 for the finishers, for the February finishers. Okay. So have an amazing day, you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. I love the way this is turning out. I love making journals. Isn't it like the best? And I think I'm going to do an eyelet closure on this one. What do you think? Because it's so nice and thick. I think I'm going to do the eyelet closure on this. Yeah, I am. I am. There we go. Have a great day. Bye. I know, Bonnie. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.